What's up guys, it's Dusky coming to you today with another tip video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about what I'm throwing during spawn. So springtime, spawn time, fish are getting up on the beds. This is what I'm gonna be throwing all spring. Before I go into kind of that, uh, one thing that I did say is I was going to be going to the Bassmaster Classic, and I did, but there were like 40,000 people there which was absolutely awesome. Uh, it's so great that that's that the sport is this big, and I mean, I absolutely love it. I love meeting a bunch of people. I met a ton of people from a ton of different companies, got to shake some hands. I really enjoyed my time with them, uh, but I couldn't bring you guys along with me because there were so many people there, I could not even talk. I mean, y'all couldn't have heard anything I was saying. Y'all couldn't have experienced any of the stuff with me. I mean, it was just, it was an, absolute cluster I mean it was crazy it was crazy it was crazy so I mean I'll show you a couple footages from that I mean I had a couple of sweet little b-rolls and stuff but I mean d-rolls d-rolls guys d-rolls but yeah so let's get into today's video um, let me go ahead and put you guys down and go get my stuff and we'll start It's Dusky coming to you today with a tip video for how to kind of get ready for spring and kind of what I rig up, what I get ready with, why I fish it, where I fish it, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and hop into this. First thing that I tie on, you've seen it a hundred times, the wacky weighted rig, the wacky trick room. You've seen it a hundred times, the wacky weighted trick worm. Got it tied on. I'm going to be throwing it on beds constantly. It's something, it's a great follow up bait if you throw a jig up onto a bed, something like that. And there's the bass kind of looks at it, but then goes away from it, then looks at it again. Toss that up there. Guaranteed bite. Guaranteed bite. Make sure that trick worm is Mardi Gras flavored, or I actually got a new color the other day. It was like, It's called like sprayed grass or something like that, I think is what it's called. So as always, I'm throwing that on a medium heavy action spinning rod with braids of fluorocarbon leader, a weighted wacky rig hook, and a zoom trick worm, like I said, color Mardi Gras or sprayed grass. That's my go-to bed fishing bait. 
That's the way to go. Don't have one tied on yet, but I'll get there. Number two. A jig. Always a jig. Always going to be a jig. Right now I have a black and blue color on. Uh, I'm probably going to switch that up to a white. Uh, depending on if the fish are betting or not. If they're betting, then yeah, I'm going all white. Uh, I think I have a... Wait. I have a chartreuse swim jig from Greenfish. Uh, I'm going to toss that on there. Uh, anything bright that you can see. And then I have a Havoc trailer. Which I might also throw as a uh, Texas rig. But we'll see how that does. Never used it before. Should be interesting. But I'll throw that on my, my medium heavy ALX 20 pound fluorocarbon bait caster. This is my baby. This is my favorite reel and rod. I love it. This is normally what I use to throw creature baits or jigs or anything like that on bed fishing. This is my primary go-to. I can cast this thing fast, skip it under docks, anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be, those are going to be the two main bed fishing baits. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using to fish on the beds. Uh, and I'm probably going to catch a lot of males with that whenever I go out on Saturday, going out to Lake Murray. So excited. So next up is going to be a bait that I'm not extremely confident with, but this is a bait that catches fish. That is a chatterbait. I'm, I don't use this a whole lot, um, but I've seen good things about it. Uh, this is char chartreuse and white, so it's going to do it's going to do well. I'm probably going to be fishing this a little bit deeper than I would a wacky trick worm or a jig for right now. Uh, this is going to be probably maybe my point go-to or it's something along those lines. Uh, gonna have a trick. Gonna have a. This is a. What is this? This is. This is nonsense. What is this nonsense? Uh, this is a Ch Z-Man Chatterbait Elite, uh, and I'm gonna have a Kitek Swing Impact Fat Kitek on the trailer of it. So. Yeah, I think this is going to catch some fish. Uh, I want to get some confidence with this bait. Uh, I might take it out to the pond tomorrow. Uh, I am planning on posting a video tomorrow as well. But, yeah, this is one thing that I want to get better at. So, y'all get to help me get better at it. Yeah, excited about that one. I am going to be throwing that on a medium-heavy, action-fast baitcaster. Uh... This one's seven feet, I think. No, it might be seven two. I think it's seven two. On a seven two medium heavy bait caster, uh, this is my cranking rod, my casting rod. This is normally what I throw a uh, red lipless crankbait on, but I'm gonna kind of change it up a little bit. This is what I'm gonna throw my chatterbait on. So yeah, that's gonna be my one of my moving baits for the day. I uh, might switch to a spinner bait as well. Uh, just to maybe either change it up, just see what they're just see what they're hitting. Um, next up, it's gonna be my. This one's a little bit heavier of a setup. Right now, I have a top water bait on it, but I'm going to switch it up. And this is what I'm gonna put my red rattle trap on. Uh, this is a red eye shad. I'm gonna be tossing it on this guy. It's got 60 pound braid on it, so yeah. Um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, this is my go-to like point fishing bait. Uh, to, if I'm getting short strikes on the chatter bait, I'm gonna go with the lipless crank bait and this bit and this uh, rod. This is a medium heavy action fast, 60 pound braid on it. Uh, this is actually probably one of my favorite setups, mainly because it's so cheap. I'll leave the link down in uh, down below. I actually have a buddy that actually designed this entire thing. So he's pretty proud of it. I'm pretty proud of it because it's an awesome setup. And it's only like 70 bucks, I think. So it's cheap and it's it's awesome. I caught a seven and three quarter pound fish on this setup. So I'll leave the description down below. Uh, kind of show you everything with that. And red eye shad on this one. That's going to be points. And a little bit deeper there. Um... So this next setup, uh, I'm, I was introduced to it recently, uh, last year actually. Uh, it's a weightless worm. So you got your pink trick worm. Uh, this is something that you want to be able to see visibly in the water. 
We're going to be fishing pretty clear water this weekend, so it'll be pretty easy to see. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, a 3 aught offset shank hook. You're going to put that on there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a swivel and put it about, I think it's like about a foot up the line, maybe not even that far, and you're going to kind of treat it as a jerk bait. So the swivel is going to add a little bit of weight to it. So whenever the worm's going down, it's gonna kind of it's gonna kind of spiral down. Fish love it; they will crush it. And I'm super excited to do it because I haven't fished it in like a year. So this is something that I'm gonna be throwing at docks. So what the females are doing right now is they're kind of staging up. They're not actually on the bed yet, but they are eating. So if you have a dock or something like that that you know that there are bedding fish around, like males or yeah, males, uh, toss a set of dock nearby and there's guaranteed gonna be a female under it. These fish are stacking up on cover right now, close to spawning areas. So if you know it's a spawning area, then go ahead and throw this around some. And like I said, you kind of treat it like a jerk bait, so it's kind of like a jerk, jerk, and then let it sink on down, then kind of jerk, jerk, let it sink on down. So it's, it's you'll get it on, you'll, you always wanna be watching your line with this, because the fish are gonna hit it whenever it falls. All right. With the trick worm, you actually do want to throw it on a either a medium, probably a medium action uh, spinning rod, um, and a you know spinning reel, obviously. But you want the braid to fluorocarbon later. You don't want the fish to be able to see the line because uh, it is a finesse ch technique. So you're gonna want a spinning rod and reel for that. Very effective technique. Highly suggest you try it. It crushes fish on ponds it crushes fish on ponds they love it especially if you have some clear water that you can see whoo they kill it they crush it because nobody uses it so i'm going to tie a couple of those on uh i'm going to tie one for my dad too we're going up we're going out together so i'm going to tie one on for him uh my last and final bait this isn't something that i'll use a whole lot i've kind of lost a little bit of confidence in this uh, this used to be one of my go-to baits, but I have recently lost some confidence in it. Uh, it's a medium action rod. It's a medium action rod with a bait caster on here. It's a jerk bait. This is something that I used to be pretty good at and fish it a good bit. Caught a lot of fish on jerk baits, but recently it's been it's been a struggle for me. I haven't been able to catch a fish. I don't know if they're in used to it at the pond or not too sure, but. Yeah, I'll have it tied on just in case I get a wild hair and throw it. Yeah. So that's basically going to be my lineup. That's going to be all I have for you today. If you want to see some more videos like this where I kind of tell you how I prepare for the different seasons, what I'm doing, what I'm throwing, that kind of stuff, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and toss me a subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video and y'all have a phenomenal week.